Hey, this is Presh Towalker. Can you make the number 24 from the numbers 3, 3, 8, and 8? You can only use the operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and grouping terms by parentheses, and you have to use all four numbers. Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the rest of the video. I'm going to present a hint before I show the answer but then I will show the solution in the remaining part of the video. So give it a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video. So here's the hint. You might start out by thinking 8 times 3 is equal to 24. And you've reached 24, but you then realize we need to use all four numbers. So one way to solve this problem is by modifying this result. Imagine that you could take three numbers, three, eight, and eight, to make eight. If you could do that, you would be done. The reason is that if you could get three, eight, and eight to combine to be eight, you would then have three numbers that combine to be eight multiplied by the remaining three to get 24. Now similarly, if you could take 3, 8, and 8 and combine them to make 1 8, you would also be done. This is because we could then do 3 divided by 1 8, and that would also equal 24. Now by the same logic, if we can make 3 or 1 third from the numbers 3, 3, and 8, we would also be done. because we would then do 8 multiplied these three numbers to combine to be 3, and that would be 24. Or we could take 8 divided by 1 third, and that would also be 24. So if you haven't figured it out, this is a huge hint. So see if you can use this to get to the answer. Once you're ready, keep watching the video. I'm going to present the answer. So the trick is in this very last line. We are looking for three numbers, three, three, and eight, to combine to be one third. And the way we do that is we do three minus eight thirds. This equals one third. We could then take eight divided by that to get to 24. And that's the answer. So there are many reasons this is a difficult problem. It's hard to solve because first, this is the only solution out of all possible combinations of the numbers. Second, the solution involves fractions and two divisions. And finally, the solution poses a challenge for computers because fractions like one third can lead to rounding and floating point errors. So some computer solvers will actually not find the solution because they'll have rounding and floating point errors. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions. If you like this video, you can check out my books, which are listed in the video description, and you can support me on Patreon. If you have a math topic, you can email me, presh at mindyourdecisions.com, and you can catch me on social media, either at Mind Your Decisions or at Presh Tallwalker.